Hi, I'm Phil Spencer and welcome to this property tour of Kipbrook Square in the London borough of Greenwich. If you've arrived from episode one of this series, hopefully you're starting to get a feel for what Kibrook Square will have to offer in just a few months' time. Now, if you're in the market to buy a property, stay tuned, because I'm going to be taking a look at the shared ownership options here, and we'll be explaining how the scheme works, as well as talking to a financial advisor to discuss the benefits of that option. Let's get started. They've got a show home set up here, so I've come to have a look around, see what it's like. I'm told that the room sizes in the end result would be identical, but the actual layout and the flow of it would be a bit different to this one. This must be the main bedroom. And the bedroom, well, you know, bedroom's a bedroom. When it's kitted out, fitted out like this, it's much easier to see how you could live in it. Where, you know, where would you put things? Built-in storage, there's space there for a desk, or put your makeup on. Lovely and light, bright, big windows. Second bedroom, I like the size. And remember, although this is a show home, the room sizes will be identical. And, and that's absolutely fine for a second bedroom. Family bathroom in here, all very smartly done. Good appliances, just as I'd hoped to find. And then through to open plan, living, dining, kitchen room. Again, proportions are, are quite sensible. Easy to see that you've got six people around the table, have your mates around, bit of a dinner party Friday night. Kitchen, well, plenty of storage space, plenty of work surface, oven, decent appliance, that's all included. Is there a dishwasher? Yes, there is a dishwasher. Fridge and freezer, all tickety-boo, ready to go. And then down this end, the living room. And it's lovely to see that actually once you've finished dinner up there, six of you could happily sit on a sofa that size to watch a movie. But all in all, you've got good ceiling height, you've got good proportions, it's lovely and light. I like the floor, this is a nice touch. You know, they've thought it through. It's good to see. Next up, I'm gonna to talk to the sales manager. I'm sat here with Anthony Keane. Anthony is the sales manager here at Kidbrook Square, and I wanted to find out about shared ownership and, and how it works, Anthony. Give, give me a download on shared ownership. So shared ownership, it's a government-backed scheme where you buy between 25 and 75% of the property's value, and then you pay a subsidised rent on the remainder of the property. So the eligibility can vary from scheme to scheme, but here at Kidbrook Square, there's a three-month priority for those who live or work in Greenwich, and then after those three months, it's then open to anyone who lives or works in London. So that means what, when you launch a scheme, for the first three months, you'll only do business with somebody who lives and works close yes, to Yes, so we can only sell properties to those people, so that's yeah. people actually putting down a reservation. But people can still inquire if they aren't living or working there, and what right. we can do is we can add them to a waiting list. And, and you said you could buy between 25 and 75% of the property. Can you, can you buy more in years to come? Yes, so over time you can buy additional shares, which is called staircasing. So you can buy a minimum of 10%, and then you can actually staircase to 100%, which means that then you own the property in its entirety. Okay. Tell me about where we are, Kidbrook. What's it got going for it? So we're currently at Kidbrook Square. It's one of our flagship schemes in Zone 3, literally next to Kidbrook Station. So a mm. couple of, literally like a minute's walk from the blocks to the actual station itself. The actual development itself too, you've got an on-site gym and concierge, and you've got various kind of landscape gardens which you have access to, which is all included within the service charge that you pay here. Just going back to shared ownership for a minute, what would you say is the kind of average amount that people buy? So most people at the moment are buying a sort of a 25% share at the moment. It's that entry level sort of product that means that actually people who wouldn't be able to buy on the open market normally, they actually have that ability to buy that property. It's a step onto the ladder as opposed to just paying rent all the time, it means they're actually investing into their own home. For, for me, a great attraction would actually be the security of tenure. If you own 25%, no one can kick you out. It is your piece yeah. of England and, and, and 
certainly in today's rental market, um, you don't get a lot of security. We are finding at the moment, we get a lot of people who inquire because their rental tape agreements are coming up for renewal yeah. and they're not happy of whatever the increase is. So actually then looking at what are my other options to do because I don't want to carry on renting, especially yeah. at these high prices. Any particular things you'd recommend people just be wary of, be mindful of if they're considering? I think one of the most important things to do if you're considering shared ownership is to speak to a financial advisor. So if you speak to any housing association, they will have an um, independent financial advisor they can recommend to you. Mm -hmm. What they can do is they can just do a quick, brief assessment. It usually takes five or 10 minutes over the phone. They won't charge you for it, but what it does mean is you'll have a better idea of kind of like what kind of properties you can afford, what's within kind of your price range, and okay. kind of also how much you would look at spending on a monthly basis. It will really help you kind of gauge and tailor your actual search as to what you're kind of looking for. Good advice. Thanks, Anthony. That's all right. Ian, I was hoping you could just talk me through how the finances work on these shared ownership schemes. What are the key benefits? So I think one of the key benefits is that it may enable clients to purchase a property in the area they want to be in. So for example, somebody perhaps may be able to afford to buy a one bedroom apartment on the open market further out of London. Mm. Instead of doing that, they may now be able to buy a share of a property in London. But does it, does, is it still cheaper? Because they've still got to rent the bit that they, that they don't own. We, we tend to find, when you're looking in London, quite often when you look at the combination of costs for the rent, the service charge and the mortgage, it can quite often be cheaper, especially with the way rents are going at the moment, it can be cheaper to actually buy shared ownership. So when somebody comes in and say they look around here and they, and, and they like it, they want to get involved, they'll, they'll, they've got their deposit, at that point will they be able to be told what the rent would be? Yeah, so normally the rent would be advertised um, in with the sales brochure and the okay. price list so they'd know what it is. And quite often before reviewing, they would speak to a specialist mortgage advisor such as ourselves or one of the other companies to actually go through their affordability. What, what we try to do is make sure that before people come in and view these wonderful apartments, they actually know that they can afford it and they do qualify. Yeah. So it's to avoid people having their hopes built up and then yeah. having them dashed. Can you talk me through how it, how it works when it comes to time? So say somebody's bought 25%, they've lived here for years, they've, they've gone up to 50%, they want to move, how does that work? Yeah, so they'd normally contact the housing association. Um, Do they have to contact the housing association? They'd be in touch with it, it depends on the terms of the lease, but normally they'd contact the housing association, there may be what's called a nomination period, where the housing association will then normally have a bank of buyers looking in the area. So they will try and sell it on to a new shared ownership buyer. Okay. If they can't do that within a certain time limit, then yes, they would be able to go to the open market. Um, property is independently valued. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the, the seller uh, at that point would receive their percentage, i.e. 50% uh, of the value of the property, giving them money to move on to their next, next home. So there you have it. A look at the shared ownership options here at Kidbrook Square. Do come down and check it out. For more information on shared ownership, we popped a link below for you to get in touch with the team. Join us in the new year when we're going to be checking out the rental options with the private rent arm of NHG Folio London and see what they've got to offer. So until then, take care.